So Linux Mint comes with a wonderful sticky note application called Notes. If you go down to the Start menu and go to the search and it just type in Notes, it'll show up right here. And so what you're presented with here is on the left-hand side are all of your groups. Now I just threw some together just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. They don't really mean anything. They're just kind of goofy. And if you want to add a group, you just go up to the pancake menu and you just type in new group and just give it a name. And on the right hand side of the group, this is where you add your notes. So if I'm in, let's say test three, I click on the plus button and I've got a new note here. New, I can't even spell new. Look at that. And incidentally, you can make these notes as big as you want. You can, you can create a novel if you want to. They're absolutely huge. And, um, and they, you can make them any size you want. And so the notes are on the right-hand side. Now, if I want to delete a note, let's say, uh, I just double-click on it, and it comes up here, and I just click on the trash can here, and the note is gone. Let's say I want to get rid of that group. I just highlight it, go up to the pancake, and remove the group. And hit yes, and it's gone. So for each group, I have all these notes on the right-hand side. So let's close. If I click on the X, let's close it. It's we think we're closing it, but we're not. If you look down here in the tray, you'll see that it's still running. Now, if I left-click on this, I can turn the notes on and off, and it remembers which group I was in. So if I right-click on this, and let's say I go to the garden group, and all of my garden group notes come up, and then I can turn them on and off with just the left-click button. And also, it remembers exactly where the notes were. Let's say I put the notes over here, like that, top center, or top, I mean outside. And I go to, let's say, the home group. And there's the home. If I go back to the garden group, it remembers where they were. So that's kind of nice. So if I want to manage the notes, I can right-click on it and click on Manage Notes, and it comes back up here again. And I can just work on them right here. And then I can close it back down again, turn them on and off, and there we go. Uh, if I want to go to the preferences, I can either go to manage notes and go from here to preferences, or I can right click and go to preferences here. Now what this does is it brings up all the, uh, the preferences for the application itself. So go to the general tab on the left. It says show notes on all desktops, show in the taskbar, which I, uh, I do on the, on the left hand side, uh, show a uh, tray icon on the right hand side, and show the main window automatically. Turn that on. Uh, I, I, this is just my settings. You can change them, you know, whatever your preference is. Uh, on the left, you, you have notes. You can change the size. If I want to make the notes big or small, I can change it here. Uh, default position, center. I like to have it in the center of the screen. Uh, yellow, I just leave it default. But you can change it any color, or you can cycle through the colors. And then you can change the font also which is nice. Uh, backups, I'm going to come back to this, but it, you have the option to do automatic backups. And what this does, this puts the, puts the backups into a folder, and I'll show you where that is in a minute. And then you can uh, change the time between backups. It's got, it's defaults to 24 hours, which is basically every day. And then it keeps seven copies. Now, it doesn't give you the option to change the location of the automatic backups, only the manual backups, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then we have automatic start. Start automatically when the computer starts. And then you can have it show the notes on the screen. I don't have it show. I just have it start, and then it's in the tray, and I know it's there. So we're back in Manage Notes. Let's go up to the Pancake menu, and let's go Backup. If I click on Backup, that basically just does an automatic backup right away. Well, manual, but it's, it puts it in the location that's predefined by the program. You're not telling it where to back it up. If you want to back it up manually, you go to the menu and click on Export, and it will export them. Now, it says notes.json, J-S-O-N, and that's basically a data file for the program. And you can put them anywhere. And then if you wanted to uh, import, you can import one of the files that you exported. So now, regarding the backups themselves, if I hit backup, I don't see anything happening. What happened was, it created a backup file in that location. And let me show you that location. If I go to home, and then I go to .config right here, uh, incidentally, if you don't see this folder, it's because it's hidden. These folders here with the dot in, in front of them and all the files, they're hidden. You have to go up to view and show hidden files. So if you only see basically your regular folders, that's because this is not turned on here. So you go to the .config, and then you go to uh, sticky. 
right here. There's a folder called Sticky. And in here, here's where all your backups are. So if you want to take this, uh, these files and you want to back them up onto a flash drive, just copy them over, you can. So let's go, um, let's, let's delete these. I want to delete these backup. Okay, so they're gone. Now watch what happens when I hit backup. I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to hit backup. And boom, you'll see that it puts a, it puts a backup file right in there. So every time I hit backup, it does a new backup into that folder. So there's three of them in here, one, two, three. And if I go to, if I go to uh, restore backups, you'll notice that all three show up here. And they're, they're, you know, they're organized by date and time. So that's kind of nice. Now, if I also, if I go back to uh, restore backups, I can hit clear. And then you'll notice that they're all gone. And then I go back here to backup. And there's a new one there. So it's kind of nice. The backup system works really well. It just doesn't give you the option of changing the location of the backups, which would be nice, but it's not that big of a deal because I can always just go up here and hit export. And also I have a, uh, an automatic backup system of all my files and I add this .config uh, sticky folder to my backup so it gets backed up to my external or my secondary drive anyway. So just keep that in mind if you want to back those up with your software. So this is a great sticky note program. Uh, but since this is a new install, I uh, don't have the notes over from my older machine to put on here on my new one. So if I want to bring the notes over, it's really simple. I just go to my uh, my old machine and I go to the home folder and I go to dot config and I go down to sticky. I grab all the backup files from there and I can just move them into the new location on this computer. Or I could just back it up onto a flash drive and then bring it over here and then import it from the flash drive. Either way, uh, it's really simple to do. It's a piece of cake. So this sticky note program, this is an absolute, I mean, this is, I'd use it all the time. I would be completely lost without it.